Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In this video I want to show you how you can use Python to create a data collection form and write that data back to an Excel spreadsheet. Let's jump right in. Starting out let's look at the simple data that we want to collect. So we want our form to collect an operator's name and then a number associated to that operator. We're just going to use two fields in this video but feel free to use more. Jumping over to our text editor let's create a new file. In this example we'll use tkinter to create the form. From tkinter import all to write the data back to an Excel spreadsheet, we'll use pandas. So import pandas as PD. The first thing we need to do is to create a tkinter widget. We'll say master is equal to tk as a function. Now we need to assign labels to our tkinter widget. We can do this with the label function. We'll pass in the tkinter widget that we want, so master. We'll pass in the text that we want the label to have, so we want operator. And then we can define a location of where the label is. So let's use grid row equals zero. Now we need to do the same thing for the number. So we'll take this, copy it, and paste it below. Change this to number, and then we'll say row is equal to one. Now we need to define two user entries to our tkinter widget. So entry one will be entry to master. And then entry two will be the same thing, an entry assigned to the master tkinter widget. Let's go ahead and position these on the form. So we'll say entry one dot grid row is equal to zero and then column is equal to one. We'll do the same thing for the second one. So copy and paste, change that to entry two, and then we'll say row is equal to one. Now let's create two buttons that will have actions on our form. Using the function button, we'll assign it to the master tkinter widget. The first one we'll use as a quit. We'll say text is equal to quit, command is equal to master dot quit, and then we'll give this one the position of row is equal to three, column is equal to zero and then we'll put some padding around the button so we'll say pad y is equal to four now we need a button to submit the form entries to the excel spreadsheet so we'll take this button we'll copy it and then we'll paste it below the text will change from quit to submit and then we'll change the command to a new function that we haven't created yet called submit fields then we'll change the column from zero to one lastly to execute a tkinter widget when you run the script we just need to put a main loop at the bottom. Now let's define the function that we just put this command action to. We'll define a function by using def submit fields opening and closing parentheses and then a colon. The first thing that we need is a path to the Excel spreadsheet that we're using. Over here we can see mine is called Excel so I'll say path is equal to excel.xlsx. Now to prevent us from overriding our data each time we submit the form we need this data frame first. Let's say df1 is equal to pd.read Excel and then we'll pass in the path that we just defined. Now we need to call out the series of this Excel spreadsheet. So here we have an operator series and then we have a number series. Series A will be DF1 and then the name of this column. So let's take operator and put it in this blank right here. We'll do the same thing for the second series. So series B is equal to DF1 and then number. Now whenever we submit the form we want to add the new values in the form to these series but first we have to get those values out of the form. So a will be the new variable that we'll use to get the operator value. a will be pd.series and then entry one and then we'll use dot get to get that value. We'll do the same thing with the number b is equal to pd.series entry two dot get as a function. Now we just need to append these new values to the old series. We'll do this by typing in series a is equal to series a dot append and then the new value. We'll do the same thing with the second series. So series b is equal to series b dot append b. Now we need to pass these series back into a data frame. So df2 is equal to pd dot data frame parentheses and then we'll pass in a dictionary object. Now operator will be equal to series a and then number will have the values of series b. Now we want this form to write back to the same Excel spreadsheet. So let's say df2 and then dot to Excel. We'll pass in the same path that we specify here. So path and then we'll say index is equal to false. That way it looks like this and doesn't have an index column over here. The last thing we need to do is to remove the items from the form whenever we submit. We can do this with entry one dot delete zero and then end. And then we'll do the same thing with the second entry. Entry two dot delete zero and then end. We'll save our file, open up a command prompt or a terminal depending on your operating system, type in python3 and then the name of the file. Mine is python data form .py. When we execute the script we see that nothing happens in the terminal but we now have a new form over on our desktop. Let's look at our old entries and create a new one. We'll say the operator 
is me, and then I'll pass in a value of 999. We'll submit, and we see that the entry delete function worked successfully, so it cleared the blank. And now, when we go back over to the Excel sheet, we'll close out of it. When we close it and open it up again, we see that we now have the new values. Derek is the operator and then number 999. Excel does already have a forms feature built into it, but there are a few limitations to it. Excel forms only allow 32 fields, but this method allows as many as you want. We're also able to manipulate the values before we write them back to Excel. So here, where we pull out the value from the entry form, we can take this variable and do functions on it before we write it back to Excel. I hope you find this video useful. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. Until next time.